Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we'll be cracking open a battery to see what it's made of. Um, I'm looking at lithium or lithium ion uh, motorsport batteries um, and what they're made of. So this one right here, I've already opened up. This one simply says lithium here. Um, and that could be a whole lot of different things. So I opened this one up to see what it was made of and um, had to cut it open. And we got a BMS here. Um, this one happens to have uh, lipo cells in it, um, lithium polymer. And you can see all these cells look relatively normal. And we got one cell that is clearly bad there. And that is probably why this battery is recycled and no longer works. So, um, lithium polymer, I can't do much with that. Um, so, I'm going to put that off to the side. I just want to show you that one as an example. Now, if you have one like this here, this is actually lithium ion. And then it says LIFEPO4, lithium iron phosphate. Um, and this one is going to be very different from the other one, I hope. So I'm going to open it up here and uh, we'll see what it's made of. here screwed on there some screws you see and then inside we can see where the batteries are down in there there's some more screws we're gonna take those out real quick and get a closer look <laughs> can already see look at this this is made up of what is it four six maybe cells let's see if we can pop this out of here yeah all right You know, honestly, this is something that could be rebuilt. If it's made of lithium iron phosphate, this would be easy enough to rebuild. Now we can see where the problem went with this one. This one probably was left out in the rain or something. Somehow water got in here. And you can see this is awfully corroded. Lithium does not go well with water. Uh, I would say it does not like water, but that's scientifically, I guess that's not true. It loves water and the results are dangerous. Um, so this one's definitely very corroded. This one looks a little swollen on top, but that's it. It's just got four lithium iron 18650s in here. And these look like, these are the power cells. You got energy cells and you got power cells for lithium iron. These are the power cells, so I guess that would be a higher discharge rate, which is better. Well, it's better than some things they could have put in here. In general, it doesn't make a lot of sense to use a lithium battery as a cranking battery or battery that's going to be discharged in your motocross vehicle. Um, you're not supposed to discharge lithium batteries uh, very far before they go into dormant mode. Uh, and a lot of the ones I see coming back to us are in dormant mode. You know, they're not even that old. The customer tells us they've stopped working. Um, and it's because it doesn't make a lot of sense to put something you're going to deeply discharge into one of these vehicles um, that's not meant to be deeply discharged. You're better off going with something lead acid or sealed lead acid, AGM. Um, unless you're just trying to save every ounce possible, 
it doesn't make sense to go lithium. They're probably paying a lot more and they're not going to be as reliable. Um, they're just not made for this sort of application. Well, thanks for watching. This is what's in one of these. Uh, if it says lithium iron phosphate, probably find just some normal cells here. You'd find these in dog collars. You'll find them in drill batteries. You'll find them, you know, in anything that says lithium iron phosphate. Um, they very closely resemble lithium ion cells. Uh, this is a 3.7 volt cell, however, whereas this is 3.2. So, you know, you have four of these together. 3.2 times 4 is 12.8, which is nearly identical to what a fully charged auto battery or 12 volt battery would normally be. So these really are a perfect imitator voltage wise of the normal motorsport battery. Um, however, discharge rate, um, they do not match up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.